many, many, many of our graduates, 13,000 now, are Muslim, and many are in leading positions in the West Bank. Government positions, banks, insurance, industry, such as it is, they are leading positions. Uh, and they really feel and express a tremendous debt of gratitude for what Bethlehem University has enabled them to do and to become. We realize that many Canadians and Canadians and Catholics are not aware that Palestinians are also Christians. And one of the major issues that's been happening for the last 20 years, but more so in the last 10, is that the Christians of the Holy Land and all over the Middle East are leaving. They're leaving so much that there's just a few left. I mean, if you look just at uh, uh, Israel-Palestine, about uh, 60 years ago, there was 20% uh, of the population was Christians. Today, it's less than 2%. The goal of all is to be sure the Christians remain in the Middle East. No one should have to flee from their home. And so it would be good if there were no refugees. If we, they should be in the Middle East where they have a right to be. It is where they should be, in peace. And so the work at Bethlehem University, the work of Canaveral, the work of the Knights of Holy Sepulchre, anything we can do to keep a place for the Christians to work together with others of other faiths in the Middle East is very important. Insofar as that is not possible, then we help those who must flee. stay for a sabbatical of three months, you go home and want to write an article. <laughs> if you stay any longer than that, you go home, you reflect, you pray, and you're quiet. <laughs> the quiet is not, not to do anything, but it requires very serious reflection because it is the most complex situation I have ever met in my life. It's very important that we listen to the Christians of the Holy Land because when I went to Bethlehem University, um, they were very eager to tell their stories because they knew that they weren't very well represented. As Carl was saying, there's many people in the West who don't know that Palestinian Christians exist. And on top of that, these are young Palestinian Christians who feel even more left out of the conversation. And um, their story deserves, deserves to be told. The fact that the university insists that all the students take a common religion course together so they can be in the same room and do the same things and talk to each other. And from my, from my perspective, that's a very hopeful sign. So I was very much encouraged by that. You know, obviously there's a great deal of uh, difficulty, a great deal of suffering, a great deal of pain that is in the Holy Land, that is in Bethlehem University, that's represented by the West Bank and the Barrier and so on. But I think we have to live with hope. And so for me, that's what the, uh, the film kindles. So.